first off, <laughs> let's begin with saying where we are right now. We are at the UFC Fan Expo right here on Las Vegas, Nevada, the fight capital of the world. And right here to my right hand side, I have my big buddy, training partner, brother in blood, native <laughs> super warrior, Bill Smallwood. Bill, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing all right, man. If you guys don't know, man, this is Rudy. Rudy is on Bellator. This is Syndicate MMA. But anyway, and World Series of Fighting now. Now I pass the world. Oh snap! He's, he's, he's doing NBC big, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With well, that being said, the reason why we're making this video is because it's a continuation to what happened about five days ago, where Bill had the opportunity to get the mic, also at the UFC Fan Expo, and question. Tell Sonnen why he was, he was such a badass. He hadn't won in two years. Now, he came up with some big stuff. He called the ghetto. He came up with some other stuff that really didn't make no sense. What do you have to say right now, Phil? To tell Sonnen right now at this moment. Man, honestly, like, uh... Don't get me wrong, though. If you really want to know, like, Chael's actually really a nice guy. But aside from all of that, uh, a lot of winning and a lot of losing and all that stuff, though, it's just, you know, overcoming uh, negative obstacles or, or anything that was ever in your way, though. So when it really comes down to it, though, that's the second time. Most of you guys know that Fox just got rid of his entire uh, contract. They axed the shit out of his ass. One, I'm actually not ghetto. I got a finance degree, the minor marketing. I actually manage a couple of guys. I have promoted for some actually pro organization C3 fights with Dr. Ron Trent. The guy's a doctor. If I was ghetto, I wouldn't handle that. I've set on some, uh, aside from all that. But whenever it comes to jail, man, uh, look. We were all living this dream, all in this dream. Like, you've got an expo. This is one of the largest expo areas in the world, in Mandalay Bay, ever. One of the fastest growing sports worldwide. You've got the ultimate fighter that is in about seven different countries that streams twice a year. People don't even speak English, but they can chunk them. Now, we're giving back a dream. It's a little kid, wrestling, karate, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is this. When it comes to a guy like Jail Sonnen, this guy has missed a dirty test for steroids twice. On top of that, he used to run in real estate. He almost got thrown in prison. What was it? It wasn't tax evasion. It was, uh... Hey, go look at the It was fraud. Huh? Fraud. It was fraud. I mean, like, it was real bad fraud. It was federal penitentiary, not state. Federal. Federal. All right, so with that being said, that's the opinion of Bill Smallwood after 365 incidents. So I think the moral of the whole history is that karma is a but for real though, I mean like they're kind of hitting already but, uh, because he is, he's a really sharp guy, he knows how to do broadcast, he knows how to do a lot of things though, but whenever it comes to jail though, man, he really is sharp. Wrestling background, he was an Olympian and some other stuff, and Daniel Cormier sits next to side of him, and he does his thing though. Like, um, he knows how to sit down and he knows how to, you know, report the, the MMA news, but he got fucking work whenever it was coming to Rashad Evans. Rashad Evans kicked him blank to no flatten his ass out and beat the piss out of his ass. Look, it's nothing personal though. That's just what happened. But in all honesty, when it comes to kids, you gotta be able to do the right thing. And the right thing is being able to come to an athletic commission and not kiss the dirty. I mean, even his opponent, man, like some the same shit though. He just didn't kiss the test. So he's like, oh yeah, I have a problem with uh, speaking English. Look, man, <laughs> it is what it is, man. Like, it's the fucking truth. Bill, well, let me stop you right there because I'm a big fan of Wanda Lee Silva myself, and I know I have a lot of confidence in Guatemala, who's also a fan of Wanda Lee. But obviously, do you really think that all the sudden he just pulled out his hand what the commission was telling him? And he just decided to Brazil randomly fly away to Brazil. I mean I know the world cup is around the corner. I don't I don't I don't I don't bullshit or bullshit. The man has got 
get a Kia on the other side of the interstate of Las Vegas Boulevard <laughs> in the United States, you had to get, like, they don't just let you set up a Kia because you're selling violence, man. So you got to be able to jump through quite a few hoops in the United States, so. Did he speak English? No, no, wait, wait, did you? Did you? Did you? So that will be the question pretty soon. For myself, I will be having the opportunity to interview one that I Silva himself, and we might be able to ask him that simple question. I want to know when he's going to get this taken <laughs> off and when he's going to fight again. I heard this cat was supposed to be fighting on this next World Series of Fighting going down in about a week and a half, but he happened to do a spinning back fist. This is what happens when you try to get ruthless and creative. With that being said, my um, sole long away to debut with World Series of Fighting is coming up soon, perhaps in September, but um, we're doing this. We're living and breathing MMA. It's a lifestyle, and I have the blessing to do what I do and enjoy this. And also get to meet great people like Bill, who's also very intelligent. He has to to back him up, and he's a great businessman. So thank you very much. If you guys don't, if you guys don't know, though, he just got done throwing his first amateur car, though, at a casino. At a casino. Get Real MMA. You guys don't know, it's GetRealMMA.com. Well, it's RealMixingMarshMars.com. Brought to you by Get Real Promotions. Did I see these guys rolling around the other day? Like, Get Real, like, uh, the Alkaline Water, though? They've got a... A Mercedes CLS 550 with a cover on it, rolling around Southern Island. Like I'm like, hold up, follow them, man. But, but I, I ride the smart car, the little one. I'm not that big time. Just yet. Oh. All right. Thank you, everybody. Follow us on Twitter at Ruthless Morales and on Facebook, Ruthless Morales and Bill Smallway. Well, yep. Live to believe. That's it.